Okay, in our last video, we found the iBot. See, give me up here in special. The iBot pod, yes. The iBot pod, which will release iBots out into. Let's see if we can look at there. You can see a little better. Out into the Commonwealth to try to find critical pieces of junk or ammunition or funky things like that. There's only one problem with this. First of all, you can see it, it takes a few things to build. It requires six power. And it's not like these iBots actually bring you anything. What happens is, is when they find something, like, oh, you could send them up for mini nukes. That's probably the most valuable thing. But you could find them for, like, you know, 38 rounds. You can't send them out for energy rounds, actually. You know, you can't send them out for fusion cells. You can send them out for certain kinds of junk if you need oil or if you need something like that, supposedly. Um, the problem is that when they find it, it just generates a radiant quest for you to go and get it probably from a hostile area and there's usually only two or three of these things anyway so who likes some more radiant quests who has not getting enough radiant quests from this game Can everybody raise your hand if you're not getting enough radiant quests i'm not even building that instead i've built some scavenging stations which you will note um, are all unmanned because, well, I'm just kind of letting this place auto, uh, auto assign settlers and they're all making food. And they kind of need to make food because they need to eat. I don't even have anybody on the Brahmin Freed trial, I don't think. So, what we can do though, because guess what doesn't eat? That's right, we're talking robots! So let's zip back over to our robot area here and. I'm glad you find it rewarding. Um. What we can do here, especially since, of course, as you may or may not know, I am like, let's, let's take a quick look over here, because this is kind of critical. Do, do, do. Because I am the water magnate of the Commonwealth, and this is not my only base of operations, um, I, have, I have enough cash generated from, you know, did we get that one? Yeah. What about this one? Oh, look at this, more stuff. They just keep showing up. Stuff keeps getting killed. All right. We need better defenses. But because I have should have enough junk to make some robots, we need a new automatron. You make the new automatron. Now we got to trick him out here. I'm thinking for a special mod. We don't really need any special mods to get out of my way, Ada. For the torso, we want to go, let's see, the Protectron torso, maybe a Mr. Handy torso, because that probably needs less stuff. Interesting, ceramics becoming important on these things. I never really used a lot of ceramic before. We're going to have to get some ceramic. Uh, let's see, superior movement speed, Saltron torso, we want to... There we go. Let's go with the Robo Brain torso for the better health, just for the, the certain look here we're going for. Okay, we're going to back it up. Front armor, yeah, we want the front. We're not going to go real expensive on this one. We just want it to look like a robot. Let's see, maybe for the head. Let's see, do we want to put no, we definitely don't want to put Trektron head. The Assaultron is This is really difficult here. She's jealous. I'm telling you, she's just jealous. Maybe an Assaultron head laser. The head armor now do we have the certain Yeah, there's not the, there's a certain look I'm looking for here, so we're gonna we're gonna bear with. Okay, I think we're pretty close here. Let's see, let's go T. We'll call this one. Everybody to the limit. Of course, we can always do upgrades later. Now, what we're going to do 
Yeah, I know. I would have preferred the red lights on mine, you know. But it is the right shape of that face, so that's what I went with. Let's command him. Doopy doopy doo. Run around the back. There's resources now assigned. Now, instead of having a robot go around the Commonwealth and, you know, tell me, oh, well, here's some stuff for you. This one acts as a scavenger and the junk will just appear in my, uh, in my inventory. I know what you're saying. That's kind of a lot of expense for a few pieces of junk every once in a while. And I'll be perfectly honest, I, I built this one for a specific reason. Some of you know. Some of you know where I'm kind of going with here. And if I could tweak the look a little bit later, give him a little bit more of a barrel body, make him look a little bit more dangerous, then that would be even better. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do something else. Because we're going to obviously have more than one of those. But here's the trick. That robot does not leave the settlement. He's here. So if the settlement's under attack, then... Uh, that he helps. So what you can do is we can go here, we can go... I think the best heads are usually the Robotron heads. Now the head laser ones are nice, but you have a short engagement distance, and I want these guys going after stuff from the beginning. It has that Mesmertron attack kind of thing going. Let's see. We go with the Robotron head. What kind of head armor can we get? Do we get the Where is the teddy bear helm? The plush helm. Maybe, you, maybe we can't use a Robotron head for that. Maybe we need the... Uh, going for a specific look here again. There you go. What you need is you need to have the sentry head and the plush head helm. That is what is going to make this work. We take the Assaultron torso. Because if you get Mr. Handy, it takes away the head. Get the left arm armor. So we use the cruel plate, the wicked plate, the sinister plate. Hydraulic. Instead of the protectron, left hand claw. Let's do it. Left unstable gallows, which we do the explosive minigun on that hand. Nah, unstable laser gallic. Right on, we're going to do the same thing. Sentry right arm. Hydraulic frame. Go to torso. We want one of the torso. We need the front armor. Should we make it barbaric? Which one is the improves energy stuff? The voltaic frame. Let's use the voltaic frame. Ha! Rear armor also voltaic. Cause that increases energy damage. That's right. He's got lots of energy. And then what we're going to do is the legs. We are going to use the Mr. Handy thruster. There we go. Thruster armor. The voltaic frame armor. So he is all electric. And then for the paint, or the voice, what we need to do, we need the, the, I imagine he is the male voice. Would he be a male voice? I don't know. What would he be? Jocking me. Well, we can change this around here. Let's do sentry voice. That is kind of... Generic, then you cannot tell. Bleep bright voice, no, bleep dark voice. <laughs> and the paint, of course, we're going to go with the yellow paint. 
Now you've got to give him a name. And of course the name is going to be... Fahogat! What, did you think I was going to make him the cheat? Please, the cheat will be a much finer robot. Exit the station. So now, what you have here is a much... Interesting. I wonder what you'll build next. Even though I can't understand you, I think we'll get along just fine. That's funny. Actually, I'll be back later. That, that's for all gods. I um, it all caps. Can we, can we fix that? No, I made it all smalls there. That's an interesting thing. Is there like a cancel? There's a cancel. So now, what do we have here? We're going to give him a command. We have to, Sergeant Primero, honestly. And we'll assign him to this scavenging station. So now we have a completely badass killer robot. Powered up and ready to unleash electric death on anything that uh, approaches. Okay, Sergeant Primera, we gotta work on you. And yes, I made her sit there because she kept getting in the way. And I'm making her watch. So, Sergeant Primera. Again, we go left arm. It's time to, to upgun him a little bit here. We are we already out of fiber optics? My goodness, you go through a lot of that out of fiber optics. It's okay, so let's do a missile launcher. And the right arm. on arms there, but we're going to go with uh, the cryojet. Should we do a regular minigun or an unstable? Maybe dual miniguns would be better than the... the yeah, you know, I'm a little bit hesitant about doing missile launchers because he's doing settlement protection here. So let's do a left stable explosive... Man, yeah, that's still this explosive damage. Whereas dual miniguns really should be enough. So if we do a dual minigun... Because if you unload a lot of explosive stuff... As you can see, this is... We have a nail gun. There you go. Now that's... That is a proper police spot. Or do you think he should have some melee and pick things up capabilities? I'm thinking, uh, let's exit the station. Pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? No. My mistake. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, sir. I should change her voice around a little bit so I don't keep mixing her up with Ada. But what we can do here with Sergeant Primero, now watch this in a similar fashion. Defense. We go to guard posts. Build a guard tower right here. And another one out here.
Not much can come up the wall. I don't think. I want to get out here. And we don't need 66 guard posts. I, I grant you that. But, put one down here. Hey, one back out, uh, back at the little ranch. Just in case, as this is a potential nightmare there. Okay, so we've thrown down some guard posts, and as you know, any guards will rotate between the guard posts. So now, where did we find leave? Here he is. Another day of hard work. It never changes. And quit your bitching already. Let's see. If we command Sergeant Primero to a guard post, now he's actually doing police duty. Or she, actually, really. So there's one other robot that I have to make up here. New automatron. Always fascinating watching you create. Ah, oh, thank you. Just to flatter you. Head. Now we're going to change it to the robot brain head because I do like that long engagement distance. Head armor. Yeah, let's go with the hydraulic frame. Torso, we're going to go... Solitron torso. Okay, we're going to go with... Again, let's go Voltaic on these. It's a nice look. Torso mid mod Tesla coils. I should put some more mods on uh, for Holocots, but uh, left arm gonna be sentry left arm, left arm armor. Now, the only problem is I'm not gonna be able to put the lasers on this. At least not the ones I want. I want the, the crazy lasers. But we can do, we can do a an automatic laser. That's probably good enough. Right on. Let's see. Again, a sentry right on. Maybe we'll do something a little different here. For the right arm armor, cruel plate. Wicked plate, sinister serrated plate. Actuated frame, that's good enough. Baton? That's an interesting thought. Good enough. We'll give him a baton just for the heck of it. Legs. We're going for the Mr. Handy Thruster again. Thruster armor. Hydraulic frame. The voice will give him a male voice. We'll leave that as a default. For the paint, hmm. Maybe Manila. Eh, yeah, Manila doesn't look all that good either. 
What do I want to give my travelers? Hmm. Well, considering where this is going... I'm going to use dark green. I'll explain that in a moment. Oh, dark green, actually. Let's see, do we have a head armor? Yeah, we do. Oh, we can't exit the station yet. We have to rename this one. Re oh, we saw it's about out of here. Come on, back. We have to... Come on. Hit. We need T. I have to hit the button. I won't click. I'm going to call this one Izzy's new friend. No, that's not right. What do we want to call it? Mm. We'll see. She named her other bot Sparky. Sparky 2? No. I got it. The Wanderer. Completely unimaginative, but this is getting too long in the video. Can always rename him later. Like now. What are we gonna let's see? Maybe we should be you really kind of, you know. I got it. Izzy's beach bum. You'll see why in a moment. Exit the station. Yes. Now. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Right. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Yes. Sure. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? My mistake. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well. He actually turned his back on him. That was just wrong. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. This guy, we're going to move. And we're going to move him. And I think move him to the mechanist lair. That would probably make sense. Can we move him to... I want to move him to North Hogden Beach. That's interesting. Send him to the mechanist lair. Okay, let's go there. Okay, here we are. Where is the beach bum? Beach bum? Hmm, I wonder if you have to wait a while before he gets there. Well, we can do that now. Okay, and Ada's right there. Now, where is the beach bum? Well, there's the mechanist. Let's go up and see if he's up here by her. Are you ready to start tracking down some robots? Such a senseless waste of perfectly good technology. Isabel, are you tracking any more of your rogue bots? Uh, yes, I can. I mean, I am. I'll, I'll look. Raid. That's what we want to do. Trade a few things. Sure. Okay. Take a look. All right. Now this says trade instead of barter. Let's see weapons. She has a buzz blade. She has a stealth boy. Which I'm not going to buy the stealth boy. No. It's good to know. But I'm going to buy all your junk. Shipments of circuitry. Shipment of fiber optics. This, people, is a good thing. We are finding good things here. She's going to be a source for fiber optics. Life is good, 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 good. Um, yeah, I'm willing to... Well, wait a minute. Do I have water? Somebody has water. Hold on. Let's just accept for right now. Now, here. Ada. 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 Heads up. Give me the water. Don't you have the... Alright, maybe we, maybe we use the water. Okay, we don't have any water. 
So she's tracking more robots. I don't feel like going after more robots. That's how you get the uh, the robot killing radiant quests. At least I made her wealthy. Hmm. All right. So this is more complicated than I intended. I built a robot that's gone. Anyway, what I planned to do was then set that robot up as a supply line to Norhagden Beach. In which case, then, that workshop would be connected to all my other stuff. So, well, you get the whole idea. And on that note, where the heck is he? Okay, so I've just lost a robot. He's not here. <sighs> Fine, look, I'll make another one and I'll send it over directly from there. We'll have a nice, long, long dealio, a long uh, supply line. And eventually we'll find Izzy's beach bum and hook it up. But in the meantime, folks, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. I go to trying to figure out where that robot went. These robots, they may not be as reliable as you may hold. Nice!